here are ways to not get scammed when buying Lego or many other things through places like Facebook Marketplace, for example. We're gonna have a little story here first. If y'all are new here, slap that subscribe button. You're gonna wanna watch the whole video and you're gonna wanna share this so other people don't get scammed. Some of these tips may seem a little, you know, off-putting to some people, but if you follow these tips, you won't get scammed. All right, so story time. Two months ago or so, bought the UCS land speeder for a hundred bucks. I told you guys about that. Uh, it was a great deal. It's built, reviewed, all that good stuff. Present day, about a week or so ago, two weeks ago. Um, this was about a month after that. I saw some Lego online, Facebook Marketplace. I messaged the lady. She had the DeLorean, for example. Uh, and I messaged her because it said mess me for pricing. It was the same lady that I bought the land speeder from. So I was like, oh, great. I already bought something from her. This is a slam dunk. She had great prices. Send her a message. She says, 100 bucks. I said, great. I can meet right now. Uh, whenever you're ready, we can meet in the same spot we met, you know, in the shopping center the last time. So she messaged me back. I can't meet today. I can meet tomorrow. But if you Venmo me, Venmo me the money because I have 80 people that are looking for this set, I'll save it for you tomorrow and I'll meet you tomorrow. For a split second, I thought, you know what? She was legitimate first time. I'll send her the money. And, I, and then I told myself, Zach, you have a rule. And this is one of the tips. Never, ever send somebody money through Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, Cash App, whatever the case is, to buy something online until you are standing in front of them in person with the item and you can expect the item. Once you Venmo them the money or send them money through an electronic channel, you lose all of your power. You, you lose it all. You are at that, that stage 100% trusting that they are legitimate. You are trusting a random person in many scenarios that you've never met from the internet. And I, I would say the same thing, I wouldn't do this if you went to school with them, if you're friends with them, if you're family, it doesn't matter. Maybe family, but still, it really doesn't matter. If they wanna sell you the item, you wait till you see them in person and you pay them. That way, you're both on an evil level playing ground. Even if it's a family, friend, whatever it is, you're standing in front of them, you have an equal level playing field, you still have your power. Once you send them the money, that's all gone. Keep that in mind for other ways too. So whether it's offer up, Facebook marketplace, whatever the case may be. If you're trying to buy something from somebody who is across the country, for example, and they say, oh, do PayPal friends and family and I'll ship it to you. Don't do it. Do never trust anyone online. You're like, just do not do it. So if they want to sell you something online and it needs to be shipped, they can list it through Facebook marketplace through the Facebook Marketplace thing where you're protected. Where you buy it through Facebook, they pay a fee, they get shipped out, sh tracking ship, or the, sh the shipping's all tracked. When you get the item, you inspect the item, they get paid, they pay a fee, but Facebook protects you as a buyer and also protects the seller. Same thing with like Mercari or any other places. When you buy stuff online, there's companies, you buy it through them, you, they, the seller pays a fee, but that's a fee that, that particular you know retailer but whether it's Mercari or Facebook they get that fee as being like the third party to protect both of you so again never ever send money to somebody until you're standing right in front of them then you can Venmo them you have the item in your hand you part ways now continuing the story so I told the way I said look you know what I want to buy the set I don't feel comfortable send, sending you money via Venmo it's just a rule that I have you know I'm not breaking that rule. As much as I want the set, I'm willing to let somebody else get it if that's what it is. So she said, okay. She actually just gave me the thumbs up and saying A couple days later, my wife, she's online. She goes, Zach, remember that lady that you were going to be buying a set from? I'm on a mom's group. She's already scammed multiple people who sent her money to buy Lego sets and then she blocked them on all sorts of social media. Fast forward a little bit later, there's a, there's a, a news article from the local police service that is saying, it has this lady's name on there, what she's doing, and how she's scamming people. I trusted my judgment, I trusted my instincts, and I'd save myself a hundred dollars and a whole lot of you know anxiety and all that other stuff that comes along with getting scammed. So again, follow these tips and you should do great. You know, this is not like the whole end all be all when it comes to buying stuff online, like obviously inspecting things and different things like that, but when it comes to paying for something these are my tips for paying for something now i'm gonna have more of these videos that are gonna come out 
for things like, you know, when you meet in person, what to look for for like a Lego set, for example, make sure it's legitimate, things like that, other ways. So stay tuned, I'm have more of these coming out. Protect yourself. Again, never send somebody, send somebody money electronically through those means, whether it's Venmo, like if it's friends and family, all that stuff, till you're standing in front of them. Do not take away, you know, your power, your bargaining chip. Don't leave it in the hands of some random person that you met online. You know, just don't blindly trust them because in a lot of times you will get scammed. I'm not saying that everybody's dis dishonest, but you know what, if they're honest and you're honest, you can meet in person and it's all good to go. You don't have to blindly trust them because in a lot of times they probably wouldn't blindly trust you. So slap that subscribe button. I had fun making this video and looking forward to seeing you in the next video.